this is getting into the down imaging part of uh, seven. This, this would include the down imaging only units. Chart speed, match your boat speed. Increase the sensitivity, I say one to two. This is over and above what you're doing on side imaging. Typically, if you bump this up just a hair, it will create, give you more details in your image for that picture perfect image. And it's basically like a digital, I, I look at a digital camera. You can take a picture and auto load and it takes a decent picture, but if you want to publish one on the front cover of a magazine, you're not gonna, they don't shoot pictures with auto mode. They know f-stops and I don't know how to do that. I'm, a, I'm an auto mode when it comes to digital camera. But understanding this will take that fish finder to a new level from being just a good picture to a great picture. Uh, changing terrain, I'm gonna show you how to set your max depth. Uh, and there's a new feature for down imaging zoom. This is basically showing, I crank the charge speed up to 10. I normally run my side imaging at 10. I've cranked this up to 12 to give that representation where I typically like to run it to get the detail. The one thing you can see is this tree, watch it, you can see the, the little white dots in it. Those are actually fish suspended in that tree. We've got a bait ball here. The, the detail is, looks a little bit stretched here. It looks, looks like somebody's kind of pulled on it. It's not real crisp and detail. This tree, to, to me, it may look fine there, but when you actually look at it in the real world, it is more compacted. It's more straight up and down with little short branches on it versus long branches being represented. Here is turning that chart speed down to six. We start getting that more narrow. We're running at three mile an hour. Our bait ball is still wide. Our data is getting a little bit better. Is this bad? That, uh, is this a perfect picture? No. But is it bad? I can still see those dots. If you're looking for fish within a tree, you can adjust your chart speed up a little bit just to stretch it so those fish jump out a little easier for your eyes to see. If you're looking for fish versus looking for to make the perfect picture. Here is actually the re my recommendation. You're setting it to chart speed to match the boat speed. There is actually that tree that we've been looking at. That's the way it naturally looks underneath the water. Our bait ball is more condensed. It's not it's not stretched out. Our detail is a lot higher. We can start seeing the rock ledges here. We can see our softer returns. It's not stretched out. So you're getting the maximum amount of detail that that front cover picture image here, exactly the way that is represented. That's, now your fish are going to be a little harder to see because it's condensed. But if it's, it's to show you if you want picture perfect images, this is the way to go. You can use the advanced features to stretch that image to make those fish pop in. This is showing basically tuning the sensitivity down to five. If I turned, if I turned it any lower, it got worse. We lost all of those trees. Chart speed was at three. This is exactly the same as that last image. You're little, you see some of the more stronger returns of the rock ledges here but you don't see the detail. You lost the bait fish and everything. Here's the, the other side of the spectrum, cranking it all the way to max. You cannot see anything as far as detail. Your bait fish almost look like a cedar tree or a willow tree because they're, they're so bright and powerful. If this is too strong. Now tuning that back down to 12, you got a good balance. And one of the things you can do is you can hit your four-way cursor at any time, stop the screen, adjust the sensitivity. To, basically, if you remember old black and white monochrome TVs where you had to fine tune the contrast to get the, the picture so you could watch the show, that's the same thing to make with sensitivity. Just, it's a contrast control to get, get that picture to see the data that you need. Still keeping chart speed at three. This is where auto range has a disadvantage if you go from deep water to shallow water. We've actually, the, the unit will add a, an auto mode will actually start cycling to maximize the screen. What we did was we don't have this data anymore. It would have showed it when it's, as it was scrolling, as this thing was scrolling, it would have showed it. 
But if I wanted to see the relationship of the structure that's missing here to how it is here, if I wanted to look at these angles and exactly how they are displayed underneath the water, setting a maximum, a lower range here, I set it at 80 foot, we were at about 60 here, I wanted to see that creek channel underneath of that bridge. Going from deep water, now I, with that lower, setting that lower range, I can see exactly how that contour of that structure is. I can see that it's sloping here, we got a flat spot here, it's a little steeper here, actually a little rock there, but you can see that this is more of a gradual slope than that last picture where it looked like it was a, more of a mountain top. This is one of the things you can do if you're running, if you're if you're going through uh, contours where your where your range is adjusting a lot. You can set this to whatever number you want. You can do this in 2D sonar also. Uh, if you're a vertical fisherman, set you you can actually the best thing is to set your uh, lower range just below the fish that you're targeting. It'll cut off that if you're in 100 foot. It'll cut off, if the fish are 30 foot deep and 100 foot of water, set it at 40, and, it, and you're not looking from 40 to 60, you're basically, you just zoom that, that bigger, that the 2D returns it in an easier, more useful data. This is our new down imaging zoom feature. Hit your four-way cursor, your plus button on your unit will activate this zoom box. What you can do is take your four-way cursor, move it over, hit plus, the zoom box will come up two times in. You hit plus again, it will go four times in. Hit plus again, it will go six times in. This is actually a tree right here with a big old fish sitting on top. Suspended right above. But then the zoom box is going to allow you to move around the screen and find exactly where the more detail about the structure. You were talking about doing docks. You can do the same thing with side imaging as you use the mm -hmm. zoom. It's, it's the same thing we're doing in side imaging, but we've all brought it into down imaging for 2011. This is available as a free update. The only two units right now that is not available on is the 797 and the 981, which are 981 was produced in 2000, started out in 2004. That was hardware limitations in both of those units, the reason they could not be done. Are, are you going to comment on site imaging or sensitivity relative to water clarity we'll, we'll, at some point? We'll get into that. Okay.